It's Kevin Duxbury, West End Black KDV. I'm here to move meaning forward um, and provoke thought. Welcome to my channel. Um, there was an anti Semitic hate crime done at president of the Jewish Federation in uh, their house in Brooklyn, one of the boroughs. What what was done was absolutely completely horrible and abhorrible and unspeakable, well, and slanderous and everything else. They used red paint and they put a whole bunch of stuff all over the doors and you know, driveway, sidewalk, whatever. But people setting aside just the act of what happened. They have a thumbs up and it showed 45 people. 45 people. 45 freaking people approved of what happened. We're at 26% anti Semitism worldwide. And we're at 24% anti-Semitism in the United States of America. To give a thumbs up to a hate crime is, is absolutely horrible. And then as I look at anti-Semitism... Those people that put that's okay, those are the ones that do the quibs. Those are the ones that make fun of other people. Those are the ones that say all the Jewish people have money. Those are the ones that say Jewish people uh, run everything. Those are the ones that says, you know, we give our money to Israel, blah, 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 that. Those are the ones that seen um, Zionists own everything, Zionists this, Zionists that. They're all horrible, this, that, and the other thing. Those are the ones that are promoting hate. Those are the ones that go with the crowd. Those are the ones that are under mainstream pushing a narrative. Those are the ones that fucking don't care. Like I said, the crime was bad as it was. I'm, I'll post that. And I'll, I'll discuss that. But what I want to address is the 45 that I saw in the morning that approved of it. What makes it okay for you to approve a hate crime? Please do tell me. If the fuck it was you, you wouldn't want it done to yourself. You wouldn't want it done to your family. You wouldn't want it done to your friends, your counterparts, your associates, even your enemies. Why do you okay that? That's where the hate lies. I'm a racist, but I'm not really a racist. No, the fuck, you are a racist. And you are promoting the narrative. And you are why the world's at 26 fucking percent of anti-Semitism. You are the ones that further gate the propaganda. You are the one that do the quibs, the jokes, the funnies. You are the one that probably discriminates at work unknowingly. No, no, knowingly. You might be in a power position. You might do all the above. 45 effing people were happy about a hate crime. It shouldn't be any. Any. It shouldn't be any hate crimes. 
This is very perilous times, as I keep on calling about the Judaism and anti-Semitism insane percentage around the world. Once again, if you know of anybody, see anybody, hear of anybody, it could be your friend. It could be a guy you work with. It could be a guy at softball. It could be a girl. It could be uh, whatever, an old guy, new guy. It, it could be whatever gender they want to be. If they speak of anti-Semitism or they speak of Jewish people or anything Judaic, Zionism, address them and ask, how the fuck would you feel if it was you? How would you fucking feel? We're in very perilous times. ADL President Greenblatt, he said this is emergency crisis. Today, they had a Senate hearing on anti-Semitism. We have to do more. We have to discuss this. We have to call people out on why they think this way and get them to change or listen to at least a discussion on whatever kind of hate they grew up with. My name's Kevin Douglas Bird. Let's pray it down. Pray for you, pray for me, pray for world peace. Pray for people coming and going. Pray for those traveling on plane, train, automobile. Pray for everybody in the hospital and out of the hospital on a better day. Pray for first responders. Pray for all policemen, police women, anybody in uniform, firefighters, uh, ambulance drivers, and as well as paramedics. Pray for those that have served have served and post-serving fighting with PTSD. Pray for those that are coming and going on the highways and byways. Pray for all the anti-Semites and pray for all the Jewish people as well as pray for the world for peace and harmony. God bless. My name is Kevin Berg. I'm here to provoke thought and move humanity just a little bit. That was our weekly update and anti-Semitism. It's very bad, folks. It's very bad. Um, my name's Kevin Bird. Thank you. I appreciate you. You guys are the best. Let's move me forward. Kevin out. <laughs>